Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. US equities finished higher in uneventful Thursday trading, rallying towards best levels in the last hours. The market has been anxiously anticipating Fed Chair Powell's speech in Jackson Hole tomorrow, but in some sense these risks have already been priced in and Powell is not expected to say anything that will settle the 50 basis points versus 75 basis point rate rise debate for September. The Dow Jones Industrial Average jumped almost 1% with gains accelerating in the last hour. The S&P 500 rallied 1.4% and the Nasdaq advanced 1.67%. Materials, communication services and information technology outperformed the S&P 500. Consumer staples and utilities un underperformed the broader index. In company news, Snowflake jumped 23% after posting a beat on revenue, while shares of Peloton dropped 18% after the equipment maker reported an earnings miss. In the background, climate change is dominating global economies with extreme heat and severe drought continuing to disrupt energy and water supplies. In China, diminished water levels are causing hydropower failure, leading to power being cut to factories and homes, as well as plant shutdowns. Local governments are racing to maintain power out output and find fresh water supplies to irrigate crops, including a critical rice crop ahead of autumn harvest. Already facing the slowest pace of growth in years due to stringent COVID lockdowns, extreme weather is adding to China's economic woes and contributing to lower growth forecasts. Experts are suggesting that there is nothing in world climatic history which is even minimally comparable to what is happening in China at the moment. In response, China boosted its collective policy support by nearly $150 billion on Wednesday. In Europe, they are experiencing what many consider to be its worst drought in 500 years, the ramifications of which are being felt across energy markets, with energy traders witnessing price increases that are hard to fathom. Natural gas now costs about 10 times more than it did a year ago, driving the prices as a fear that Europe will run out of gas this winter. Natural gas, of course, is the key driver for European electricity prices, unlike the United States, which has ample surplus of natural gas to export, thanks to shale drilling. Europe needs to import the bulk of gas, with Russia traditionally supplying around one third. Russia, of course, has slashed gas flows to Germany and other countries, even before the coming three days shutdown of Nord Stream, a key conduit of fuel to Germany. Gas has been flowing at only 20% of capacity. This relationship makes Europe more vulnerable to Russia's energy weapon. Add it all up and the Eurozone is far closer to recession than the US. On the currency front, one Australian dollar has strengthened compared to the US dollar yesterday, buying 69.8 US cents. On the commodity markets, iron ore futures are pointing to a 0.8% gain. Gold added 0.6%, silver was up 1% and copper gained 1.4%. The oil price fell around 2.5%. On the SPY futures this morning, we're talking to a fairly flat start on the ASX today. This is Tim McGowan for Finance News Network. Have a great weekend.